pointed out this path. Quick print, print vertical. I did do a brim and uh, tree supports on it. It's said to keep the pin on the right lever in position. Don't pull this off too easy quickly because there is this wire here. I have already removed the glue. So apparently I have to remove the uh, electronics here, which apparently is not Campbell's. Uh, turn the power off before you start mucking about here. Because you don't want to accidentally short stuff on size. So, there's one at the top here. One at the bottom that I can see easily. I'm going to remove both those and I'll come back. When I remove this, this sort of pin drop down onto the bed. So that model is the incorrect one. Sometimes you get a bit of that filament in here, so you just shoot this paintbrush. I've took the screw screw out. I'm just going to rely on a tiny bit of super glue on the edge of the pin there as it pushed in. Make absolutely sure that the, like, I let Cogwheel Campbell tip freely. Before you put it back together. Well, the edge of this does go against the edge of this path. What I've had to do is make these two holes slightly bigger. I use the tape dreamer just gently from each side in those two holes. So, it, well, so as I know, the pin does come loose this way and not that way. So that is ideal. 
these are never. So be very careful about taking this off. Because <coughs> it does have these two metal standoffs here between each board. So that's okay. That moves freely. And no need for a good screw in there. And probably no need for, for putting a um, uh, little bit of super glue on there like I've done. So make sure, as I say, this can rotate. And put this back on, make sure that these standoffs, especially the bottom one, is on. Uh, putting the two balls, as I say, repeating, that you have to make sure both those standoffs haven't fallen out and uh, in, otherwise the two bolts will short out well before you fit the washer and spring. Then I recommend that you go, I think it's advanced, auto calibrate. And that's like test the resonance of X and Y. Just leave it until it finishes. It might appear like it stopped, but it has not stopped. You might see it moving slightly there, but it gets faster and faster, so fast that you can't tell it that it's moving. And then it do, that's why, and then it do the X. That'll check. You know, any resonance in your printer. You may heave it there. But will it eventually go quiet? But that doesn't mean that stop doing it. Just be patient. That is very lightweight, so it shouldn't it impact on it. I think there you can hear some of the resonance. Put these values in somewhere. 
pull out for the lab residents when you're printing. My head a bit there. But any changes in it? Listen. Any changes in your extruder hot end or even the probe, anything work you do on here, run this test. See, there it's gone quiet, but it has not finished. And now, as you might notice, it's gone backwards and forwards to do the wine. Again, building up speed. Just leave it. Measuring both. Rattling a bit there. Again, it has not totally finished. So just wait.
And then, as you see, we, when it saves those values, it will reboot. And that's that uh, fixed. I will, I'm using EPLA, which somebody said can stand a bit high temperature. It pinch like PLA, but that's the letter E in front. But well, that's it. That should stop that pin coming loose and stop these problems. Okay.